Doesn't matter if our bank accounts disagree with us, our outfits are gonna make us look like a million bucks. Hello my sexy penguins, welcome back to my channel. This is Karina and today I am so excited to be doing another old money aesthetic, rich girl inspired outfits, but for girls who are not rich. I uploaded this video a month ago and you guys absolutely loved it. There's one particular comment that said please do this with Shein looks and you guys all know me. You ask, I deliver. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you 15 rich girl essentials that are going to make you look even better than Miss Sophia Richie. And to top it off, all of these are going to be very wallet and budget friendly. So you know, as normal girls can also have our rich girl era. Let's go! Very first rich girl essential, we're going to go for polo t-shirts. These are t-shirts that will make you look like you're golfing or attending a private institution. But in reality, they're just t-shirts with collars, okay? So I have two options here. We have a white one that has a cable knit pattern. I think this is just the quintessential one that every girl should own. I mean, it looks great. It feels great. The material's amazing. It's not going to shrink in the wash. It fits a little bit on the relaxed side and I'm wearing it with a pleated skirt so it's giving off that preppy vibe. If you're a big fan of tennis core, polo shirts would work amazing. All of your tennis skirts. And then to go with the preppy vibe, I also went with a pair of loafers which I featured in a couple videos ago. These loafers are super comfy. This one is a two and a half or three inch heel height which is perfect if you want that boost of height and to elongate your leg ratio without tripping over yourself or your crush. And then we have this pink polo t-shirt. It's got so much stretch to it. Like it is redonkulous. Look at this. I can fit like another baby under here and my bestie and my bestie's BF. It is not see-through at all. And I love how the length is a really modest length. So you can feel free to tuck it into your bottom or leave it out like this. I went with a black slit thigh skirt and I also changed my headband to a black headband to match the bottom and went with these heel sling bags that look very Chanel inspired. I don't know why I'm whispering. Polo t-shirts will make you look very Upper East Side, wealthy, gossip girl, private school kind of vibe. And a rich girl essential for accessories are headbands. These are a must have. They also bring out the preppiness in your outfit. And I have it in a variety of designs here, as you guys can see. There's thick ones, there's thin ones, there's houndstooth ones, 3D ones, pearl ones. Some of them have really pretty like Chanel inspired designs on them. By the way, if you're wondering where to shop all of these outfits, they will all be linked in the description box down below this video, like right underneath here. And if you're shopping on your phone, you're gonna click more and then more one more time to access all the links. And if you're watching this video on your desktop or on your computer, here is how you can access the description box with all of the links that we're talking about in this very video. Also, don't forget my discount code 15 Karina for 15% off your order on Shein with no minimums. Okay, up next on our rich girl essential list, we have button-up shirts. All I see are girls wearing button-up shirts over what they're wearing underneath. Looks like you've been partying in the French Riviera on a yacht, but you don't want to get sunburned, so you just want to like throw something on. I've worn them in pink, I've worn them in white and blue stripes. You can wear unbuttoned for that draped effect, or you can tuck it into your shorts or your pants, but make it like tailored shorts or tailored pants. And then you have very Sophia Richie inspired outfit. For accessories, I went with my black slippers. So these slippers are like basically flats because they have no heel at all to them. They look, they're just made of like a sheet of paper, but they are so comfortable to be in. I love it so much. I got it in another color. Ta-da! They do look very, very designer inspired. True to size, very comfortable to be in and extremely affordable. So highly, highly suggest these guys. Also went with a tote bag that is a basket bag. I feel like for the summertime, if you want to look rich, just have like a button down pair with a basket bag of any kind. And this basket bag, I could not believe I got from Shein. Like, hello, it looks so amazing. The handles here are something else. Like they are a kind of like hard, kind of glossy plastic handle. Do you see? It's not like those like flimsy ones. Very designer inspired. Okay, if you're looking at this outfit and you're thinking, hmm, I think something's missing. 
thing, but I can't really put my finger on what exactly it is. You might have been thinking about belts because that is precisely what is missing in this overall outfit. Okay, so this is the outfit without a belt and this is the outfit with a belt. You can see that adding an accessory that matches a color on your palette will instantly up your outfit that much more cohesive. So in this case, I am matching my belt to the color of my sandals as well as the colors on some of my purse. Because of this reason, I got a bunch of belts to match with our tailored bottoms, whether it be tailored pants or tailored shorts that I will be getting into very soon. Comment down below if you know what drink this is. And it's very popular on Selling Sunset. It's also a drink that's really popular among yacht goers or European vacationers. Not that I would know. Okay, for the next essential, we're venturing into the coastal realm. If you don't know what the coastal realm is, it's primarily made up of two categories, coastal grandmother and coastal granddaughter. If you are like me and you're like, what the f is a coastal grandmother? Don't worry, I have definitions right here. The coastal grandmother aesthetic is wholesome, chic yet laid back, Timeless yet preppy and always effortlessly well put together. The coastal granddaughter aesthetic is a younger, cuter, and slightly less polished by, but no less wholesome. So this essential will apply for both mature age groups and the younger 20-something age group who wants that rich looking leisure vibe because they live near a coast and they don't have to work. Tailored cuts is your best friend. Pleated pants, pleated shorts, pleated so if you guys have noticed, I was wearing this short with the button down from before and this is from Dazzy, I believe. The front here has complete pleats. These pants are also a tailored look to them because it has multiple pleats down the front size here with also pockets here and just overall fit that quite a luxury old money aesthetic while looking coastal at the same time and one of my personal criteria for picking tailor shorts or pants like these ones are to go for something with belt hoops because then you can put belts over them and it just makes your outfit that much more expensive looking okay guys next essential we cannot forget a throw over shoulder drape i honestly have no idea idea what to call us. This is not a cardigan. This is not wearable by any means. Its only existence on earth is to be draped across your shoulders. Very clean cut. There's no weird folds around here that's just really doing the work for you. You can just do this or we can tie into a knot. There. So in this outfit, I just turned a simple tank top and pants look into a coastal grandmother slash granddaughter look. What do you guys think? Another old money aesthetic is a tweed. The tweed is a material mostly associated with old money aesthetics. When I think of tweed, I instantly think Chanel 1990s. So I got here a baby blue two-piece set that is a tweed material. This top here is a long sleeve, kind of like blazer jacket slash coat. It has gold buttons all the way down here with horizontal button closures around here. It comes with matching shorts. So these shorts are also the same fabric as the jacket. I wanted to subtract the billion points for their not having pockets. The beauty of this outfit is that you can wear it separately so you don't have to wear them together by any means. Personally, I think the shorts is a much more functional piece than the jacket. If you feel like the top is a little bit empty around the shoulder area, you can feel free to throw on a cardigan. So this is a actual cardigan, but I also like to tie it around the shoulders like this. And then this way it's not so empty around the chest area. Okay, so we're moving on to cardigans. So you've seen firsthand how cardigans can be tied around your shoulders as a drape. Oh, so cute. Polos plus knit cardigans tied around the shoulders equals chef's kiss. I also got a navy blue one because I felt like with the colder weather approaching, it's time for some darker palettes. If you have any kind of like blue collar shirt on the bottom, like this one here, you can pair it very nicely with this cardigan. Also gives off that like rich private school Upper East Side gossip girl kind of vibe. Okay, I am so pleased with myself for coming out with this outfit because this is Old money aesthetic, rich girl, but who is actually poor IRL. I mean, <clears throat> on a budget. Honestly, you guys, this outfit looks so much more expensive 
than it actually is. I'm wearing head to toe jean pieces. Literally, like even my shoes in my bag and my sunnies. Okay, so we are halfway into the video and I just realized that I have Steve on my wrist the entire time. Lucas put the sticker on my arm yesterday because he had an Iron Man sticker that he put on his dad and he had a Batman sticker that he put on himself. Apparently putting superhero stickers on your arm will make you stronger, according to him. Sorry, Captain. Ow. Except on our rich girl essentialist, we have two pieces. Sets. These are basically top and bottom that are re mix and match for you So you don't have to do any of the thinking work. The job is already done for you There are so many 2023 best outfit options for you guys and a lot of them are very old money aesthetic Slash quite luxury inspired. This is an example of a two-piece set that is also a linen two-piece set Which is another rich girl essential because we all know that linen means hot summer and hot summer means you're going on vacation and rich girls are always forever on vacay. I've been loving vest sets so much you guys like I think this is like the third or fourth set that I featured this summer so far. Rich girls have all of their linen pieces ironed down to a T so there are zero wrinkles. When you first buy the set it's gonna come with wrinkles okay I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Very displeasing to the eye when you first receive it you might be like WTF Karina why are you such a scam? Always take the time to steam out all the wrinkles in your clothes especially your linen pieces because they're the ones Ones that are gonna wrinkle it like this is this little hurdle believe it or not is what's gonna make or break your rich girl outfit okay here's another two-piece set that is a linen blend and this is more on the gray color palette so let me know in the comments down below which two-piece set you prefer the first one or this one contrasting black with white so you either have a white top that has black borders or a black top with white elements on it I don't know why exactly but this is a pretty fail-proof formula to having that old money aesthetic. So here we have a two-piece set that has contrasting white with black borders and also has black pocket trims around here that are fake pockets. But the overall vibe is giving really 1990s Chanel runway. This is a set that you guys didn't know that you need. It just feels so luxurious and it looks amazing. It's flattering. It is so stretchy, okay? Like, this is another one of those fabrics that can fit like your unborn child, your food baby, along with your bestie when you're trying to sneak into a club. But it being white, it does not see through. I'm wearing a beige bra on the inside. Make sure you go with a bra and underwear that is the same shade as your skin tone. And then for the skirt, it's the same thing. Okay, super duper stretchy. And I threw on this belt because I wanted to have a little bit more of a contrast around my midsection. So this belt, is adjustable from the back. I think the term for this clasp is a horse bit clasp and it fits that equestrian vibe that is also very rich girl. The longer hemline is perfect for when you want to go to more classy settings like think of a polo race because that is an event that to my knowledge a lot of rich people partake in and they also tend to wear all white during those events. I'm not feeling rich, at least I look rich. If you think that previous outfit is too much for you or slightly on the more mature side and you want to go for something that's a little bit more casual, I'm just keeping the same top on from that previous two-piece set and for the bottom I swapped it out to this maxi skirt that is so comfy and cozy you guys it is super elastic and it feels so thick and luxurious it is a hundred percent cotton which means that it's going to be sweat wicking it's going to keep you cool and it's not see-through so going for this pair of sandals that also has this contrasting color palette to it it is also a dupe for the row Handles. And enough for rich girl accessories that don't break your bank. So first up we have jewelry. So you may have noticed that for the entirety of this video, I was in one pair of earrings and they are these brushed gold round studs. So these round studs are pretty big. They almost cover the entirety of my earlobe, which is pretty rare because I have giant earlobes. If you can, try to match your jewelry pieces to the tone of your accessories, like gold jewelry with gold buttons. Don't forget the hardware color on your headbands too. So over here we have tweed and gold and I'm using something with black and gold as well. Another accessory that rich girls love to sport are pearls. I find that with accessories, you really want it to be like a 
little bit on the subtle side. Now let's talk about rich girl shoes. So you may have seen that I featured these flats a lot in today's video. Not only are they comfy and they go with most rich girl outfits, they're also extremely classy and timeless looking. If you're going for a brown belt, match it with this. If you're going black belt, match it with this. And of course we gotta have our designer inspired sling bag. So these ones are the ones I featured in my work outfits video. So if you haven't checked it out, I'll be linking it right here. But basically these are cap toed sling bags. Not only are they comfortable, they're also super easy to walk in because of the low heel height and the insides don't scrape away at your skin. Gotta have some sharp-toed mules. These ones are just slip-ons that are extremely easy to walk in because they only have like one inch heel. There's a brush gold design on the strap here and it looks like you can just tie it together into like a knot design and this part is a little bit on the cushier side so it's easy to walk in. I find that with a lot of your classier fits like your midi skirts you want to go for something that is a sharp close toe. I love these ones. Oh my god, these ones are also very CD inspired. These ones have a sort of like a gloss material almost to them. It's extremely comfortable and soft. It never dig in at your skin. It doesn't give you a blister and make every outfit look so, so classy. And then finally, we have these ones that are inspired by another designer to go with your super casual outfits. Okay guys, that is it for today's video i hope you guys will all be looking like her rich girls even though you might be broke on the inside but nobody needs to know that you can just look like you have tons of money you just don't get kidnapped leave me a comment down below letting me know how i did and which one is your favorite outfit oh and don't forget to use my coupon code 15 karina for 15 percent off your order with no minimums everything in the video is going to be linked down below right here so make sure you check them out i'll see you in my next video bye love you